Good morning, everyone. Great rising. Let's give it some time. I want to do like a check-in with everyone and see how everyone is doing. I don't know if you're catching the replay or you're coming in live. Um, just check in, please. <laughs> I know things have been a little bit um, crazy with the weather and power outages in certain states and so I just wanted to check and see how everyone is doing this great rising um you know just to follow through so I don't know where you are at but if you are tuning in let us know where you're tuning in from and how you're doing how's the family great rising sis how are you this is just a, a check-in with everyone um I know things is kind of like crazy in certain states so I just wanted to follow up with my soul tribe with my family and friends and soul tribe right so where are you tuning in from and how are things where you are living like how's the weather um, are you guys okay South Carolina just want to um, check in if any I see that other people are here how's the weather over there is everyone good I know some people um, don't really have power in certain spaces or water so you know some of them might some of you may still have access to your hi Sandra to um, the internet right now to the phone so I'm just trying to see, you know, what what is if I'm feeling like there's a word that needs to be spoken, then I will let it flow through me. Um, you know, but for the most part, it's just checking in and see how everybody's doing. If you need water, if they are good, you know, when there's a will, there's a way. Um, I know it's kind of tough with the power outage. You know, I'm, I would assume that everything is closed, the, the, even the postal, you know, to be mailing out. But um, is everyone good? You know, there's. I'm sure it'll be up and running soon with everyone um, just really putting in that love energy, that light ex essence energy. To bring life, to bring security, to bring that, that the electricity back on, right? So that you guys can receive what it is that you need to receive for your resources. Are you, um, it is rain and more rain, cold rain on a regular, okay. Yeah, Hollands, Hollands, awesome. Um, you know, things, things like this where it comes out to power outages, and um, seeing how resourceful you truly are if the system was down, right? That, that is an important, important topic. If the system is down, are you able to self-sustain? Are you able to create heat in your home and comfort? Are you able to produce um, any electricity, any form of um, power in your home? What kind of system do you have? Do you have clean water? Do you have a water system that works whether you are relying, you know, without relying on the public? These are things that moments like this that happen sporadically, you know, um, to the collective, to the public, whether it's a natural disaster or man-made disasters, besides the point. The point is, how can you um, self-sustain without external um, assistance, right? And that's kind of hard because if you say without external assistance, that means solely relying on self, right? Not even an external fire or not... Like, are you in the position? Have you trained your mind? Have you trained your body? This is spirit flowing, yeah, I swear. Have you trained yourself to know how to self-sustain during circumstances where that might seem um, really difficult? 
um, that might seem life-threatening. Are you able to manipulate your body's temperature to keep yourself warm if there is no fire? Are you able to manipulate this? This is what's coming through me, right? So I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to sit here and act like I master all of this. I'm just sitting here and, and giving to y'all what's coming through with, to me. And this this is where the power of the mind is really important, where the power of your own internal energy your internal chi if you will right your internal light your internal frequency um comes into play and and is of great importance right so if you can um manipulate your body to create heat through the power of your mind whether it's through mantra, through breath of fire, you know, are these things that you are, have been practicing, right? Because breath of fire, while you're getting into that breath, it's going to create fire. That's why they call it the breath of fire. It's going to create heat in your body. And, you know, that's going to be raising the temperature and raising your body's, your body's um, frequency to higher levels. Um, yes, so it will bring clarity, but it will also help you stay a bit warm, right? If you have to, um, just to, to also focus on the breath to keep yourself centered during a hard time. Um, another thing is, you know, like rubbing your hands and allowing yourself, you know, to, to say, okay, do I have solutions in my mindset? Do I have um, tools? And it is going to go to external um, external solutions, right? What are your resources? How are you self-sustaining in your um, in your household? Do you have a water system? Do you have like a power um, battery system in your home, like a Tesla battery or a homemade Tesla battery that can power up the home? Or do you have like a solar system? And if you have a solar system... Are you making sure that um, everything is charged up? Do you have, um, oh, what is that, that called? Oh, the generator, right? And with that, these are like the basic things, right? But have you prepared yourself to have like even an external um, sto sto um, stove? You know, they, they sell those in Walmart and stuff like that. But if not, do you know how to create your own fire so that you can be able to cook? So that you can be able to, um, you know, keep warm? Um, these Those are other solutions. If there's no, no power and your food needs cooling, the, with the darkness in itself and the cold... I'm pretty sure a lot of the food won't go bad, but you could also, like, if you run out of ice, you can grab a whole bunch of snow and use the snow as a form of ice, as a cooling system for your food so that it doesn't rot, um, if that's what you need to do, right? That's another solution. Like, hey, my fridge, my freezer's not working. I don't want my food to go bad, but do you have a cooler? Do you have a cooler that you can fill up with some of that snow, right? Or if it turned into ice and put put it into the cooler to just keep that food fresh um, and to, as long as you can, right? Are these things that you have practiced within yourself, have you put yourself in the position to say, okay, let me buy these types of foods to kind of self-sustain? Hi, beauty. A few years ago was without power cookies. <laughs> I cookies with the with wood on a balcony. That was so nice and chill and quiet. I mean, uh, especially where <laughs> where you're tuning in from. Of course, it would be nice. You're in Holland, but um, you know, those are tools that you can use to um s try to self sustain, right? And not to be fear mongering or anything like that, but do you have any form of protection of security? And if not, you know, 
I mean, we're not supposed to be saying this on the radio, but we don't got nothing. I'm pretty sure you got some knives around the house or something, you know. Having a form, not only, not only right, these knives are a form of protection, but you could utilize it to open up cans if you don't have necessarily like a can opener or, you know, to cook, you know, um, to cut wood you know whatever a knife comes in very handy during any type of situation whether you know um whether it's for protection or for survival or um, self-sustaining and feeding right feeding especially if you have children right so how do you teach your children like i say you could teach them about the breath of fire you could also um body heat you know body heat is another thing that keeps people warm do you have enough blankets do you know how to create some form of um insulation in your home during those times when there is a blackout and it's gonna get really cold because there's no power there's no heat there's no light you can only rely on what it is that you have how are you self-sustaining i felt the presence of my grandma mother Ashe, 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 Grandma. My daughter melted snow with a lighter a few years ago, and the snow became a flame of fire outside of the sidewalk. That's crazy, because I remember when those, and we was like, you know, fire can get on top of water, you know, but it takes for certain things <laughs> to kind of get on top of it. <laughs> Um, so I remember a few years ago that was happening, but hey, if that's the case, then you could definitely, cause let me tell you, people think that fire and ice are so different and in, in theory they are in a sense, right? But they also, they're just two sides of the same polarity, right? This is why like temperature, you can be, <laughs> you can be in a body of cold ice. And be burning. Your skin can burn. You can like you can get burned. <laughs> um, and it it will be hot, even though you're on something cold. And vice versa, you can be in the heat and get so hot that your body will feel cold. It will feel like frozen. Um, and it it just they all lead to like kind of feeling numb, and so they're not that far apart. There's um you know the elements work with each other in different ways. So, do you have hey you know what fuck it if they fucking putting chemicals in the snow whatever that is allowing you to put um a lighter or something on this snow to create fire then you can have a heating system until until it's completely me melted right but try to work with that how how can you um put that to let's say you don't have gasoline or whatever but you have a piece of wood or something you know it's gonna get wet but putting chemicals what can you use what can you use because the ice is gonna melt the ice is gonna melt um whether it becomes a flame or not right do you have matches if you run out of lighters do you have gasoline or do you, do you know how to create a fire without gasoline do you know these are these are tools that during times like this is important to have even if your city your state is not in a blackout why because you just never know what situation you are in and you have to be able to know how to think quick on our feet which a lot of the times the fight or flight kicks in right our survival instances kicks in um and we have already gotten to a place of knowing how to survive and we want to live and if that's the that's the the quote that we're gonna say well how do you truly prove that to yourself and to your family have you been growing food to say you know what even if the food in my refrigerator go bad and the supermarkets are closed i have a little garden of food right here fresh food that as long as i keep watering these plants and they have the sunlight i am self-sustaining i my me and my children will not starve have you done that? Even if you live in an apartment, do you have spaces where, you know, window sills or whatever? I got a tea. I had gotten a tea. 
with oak, oak, oats, oak, <laughs> oak milk. So I see there's other people that's in here. How is everybody doing? Where else are you tuning in from? Where else are you tuning in from, guys? And what, what advice, if you have advice, what, what advice can you put in the comments for other people? Because maybe I may not know about these things, but you might know something that could help somebody that might watch this later or is watching now, right? Um, what are your SOS plans? Do you have a plan? Do you have a backup plan? Do you keep an emergency kit? Do you have like a life straw? Do you um, have like a special book bag, an emergency book bag that may have, you know, your important documents and whatever you may need in case you have to just go out or whatever, any type of emergency situations? Do you have a first aid kit that are traveling first aid kit? Do you have these things? Do you have at least the basic knowledge of knowing how to do CPR or, um, you know, like, so the breathing techniques or, um, it, what is your emergency toolkit <laughs> go like pack it, right? What is your plan? What are some of your plans? What is even one thing that y'all could write that you can think about right now and say, I know for a fact that if some shit was to go down, I have this. Even if it's just one thing, what is your one thing? I want to read those in the comments. Because this is something really, like, that we need to talk about as a people. Um... You know, I don't know if I'm lagging because I was seeing your comments and it just kind of seems to like have stopped or slowed down. What is one thing, even if you're watching the replay, what is your one thing? Light that charge with sunlight during the day. So solar, a solar system. Have you guys even heard of like the Tesla batteries and try to even look to see how you can make one to power up the home when there is no solar, um, when there is no solar system? I still have them just in case. Yeah, solar system. Those work great, right? Because as long as they're sun, they're charged, and they're going to st stay charged for a few hours, and then when the sun is gone, what is an additional um, powering, powering, po powering <laughs> tool? If I can speak correctly, right? But that's definitely something that people can utilize. You know, do you have candles as well? Um, you know, do you have, um, you know, knowledge of how to create a fire? If there is no lighter, there is no matches, how can you start a fire? These are things that, you know, we we still have the chance to learn, right? And I, even though things aren't going to stay that way forever, right? It's not going to stay a blackout forever. This is just to say, how do you... Hi, Phoenix. How are you? How are things on your side? Well, all my fruits are already eaten from the fr fruit tree, but I have candles. <laughs> Candles is good. Candles is good. And, you know, um, do you have water? What is everyone's, like, backup water system looking like, right? What is your emergency toolkit water system looking like, right? Um, because we can, we as a people, we can fast for quite a, a long amount of days. We might feel really uncomfortable. We might start shaking out of, like, um, you know, purging, right, out of... Um, what is the word? Is with a D. Like, um, 
Oh my gosh. Like getting triggered, you're purging, you're you're um oh, detoxing, detoxing, there you go. Um, but you can fast and you can survive as long as you have water, right? Cold, full of snow, about a foot about a foot of snow. Phoenix, what is your family's emergency? I'm talking about self-sustaining during emergency situations. And what are, is at least one thing that you may have um, that you know you can rely on to self-sustain um, during any type of emergency blackout or um, power outages, right? What is something that you and your family have that possibly other people could think about? Even me, maybe I don't know about it. Um, candles is good. They do, you know, the wax dies out at some point. But so do y'all know that y'all can take like oil in your cabinets or crayons, right? You can burn a crayon and have, if you have a box, even if it's like a box of a hundred crayons or whatever, that's like having a hundred candles right there. You know, is it going to be a lot of heat? No, but will it provide a flame? Yes. Will you be able to have a fire? Yes. That's like having candles. Um, are you, do you have, you know, um, oil, you, right, that you can possibly, you know, anoint on something, right, and instead of putting gas, can you put oil you on something and have like an oil you fire, right, um, to keep yourself warm? I understand you can survive with your urine in case. Sandra, can you explain that the urine um thing? I've heard, I've heard that before. So I just would like you to alliterate. You can write it on the comments, or you could even come, um, come on live and discuss that a bit further. Um, to kind of teach us, right? To kind of teach us, help help us understand that concept of how can you survive with your urine. Just so, um, Phoenix says we have water, canned goods, dry foods, candles, oils, wood, oils, wood chips, and first aid kits. We also have a terracotta pot if we need to generate heat. What is a terracotta pot, Phoenix? What is a terracotta? pot for those of us that don't know um this might even my first time hearing um of a terracotta pot i probably seen them before and just didn't know the name but um you know the and those are all good i i definitely agree with like having even like backed up canned food as much as you know i'm not a really camp person you could even you don't have to necessarily buy your canned food from the store but create your own canned goods right you you meal prep and you prepare them and you put it in the pantry so at least you know what's in there you know how long they they will last for what's the expiration date on it you write these things down these are things to prepare and in fact, I know people that do that and it's something that I even thought about and, you know, that's something that I'm definitely going to consider now. As far as the fruit trees without fruit latrice, because you ate all the fruits and plus it's cold, right? So not all fruit trees, like if it was an apple tree, it might be a little bit different, right? Apple or pear, but you won't necessarily find, or even berries, right? You can find berries during the winter time on a bush, but you can't really find like all types of um, fruits, right? Coming out of the tree, but are the leaves edible, right? Are you able to um, eat the leaves? um if you were hungry right is it safe for the body um or do you know how to prepare a meal with that um you know that's something to consider because a lot of the times it's not only just the fruit that is edible but the leaves and stuff and you know sometimes we bypass um, the act, the foods that we actually have access to because we may believe that because it's not something that we've seen. Lemon tree. Okay, a lemon tree. I believe you can eat the leaves. You know, they're, they're, it's not always going to taste good. But if it was in a survival space, right? 
um and the lemons also is good because you have like cit citrus acid um and there's many different um things you can do and a small grapefruit tree i'm actually um trying to grow a grapefruit tree right now um you know so hopefully my baby grows well my lemon tree is also growing i'm looking for by the way anybody that's listening if you've gotten this far if you have any natural key lime seeds holla at your girl please because i am looking for some key lime seeds because i want to grow some key limes um you know i'm willing to pay shipping i'm willing to buy the seeds um and i know i could look online but if I could um, circulate the exchange of energy and resources amongst my soul tribe. I much rather prefer to do that, right? Um, and then at least we know where the source is too amongst each other. I'm trying to um, see, see more with the pine trees. Um, Phoenix, with your comment, is not um, fully letting me not letting me click on see more so it says we have pine trees everywhere the needles are good for tea absolutely super healthy super they don't really taste well but it has a lot of good properties absolutely and you can chew on them absolutely and they do create like a, a, a type of sap um as well pine sap under the bark is good Turpent turpentine and that's where i can't not see more she's giving some good information you know and this is this is the type of stuff that i'm okay um under the bark is good turpentine to help you stay healthy and good immune boost yeah to boost up your immune system absolutely that will help you during colds um that will help with your energy level as well. It is very, very sticky. So a little goes a long way as well. Um, you know, and it's not, it doesn't really taste good. I'm not going to lie. And burning pine is not like the best type of fire. But it is something that if you needed to burn something, then you have that to create heat, right? But the way that it smokes out and the way that it burns is it's not like burning oak, right? Well, I brought this topic up because um, truth be told, give me a moment, make sure I have, um, with everything going on, I wanted to follow up and check in with everyone because obviously y'all can see like where I'm at. It's super, I have on a hoodie and there's no reason for me to have on a hoodie. I'm just, um, I'm just, <laughs> I had the hoodie on already. Let me just say that. All right. It ain't nobody's business. That's why I still have on a hoodie, but, <laughs> um, bear with me, bear with me. I got to go to the gym, y'all, right? And if you can't go to the gym, do you work out at home? I can work out at home. I like to sometimes. I don't always. So you need dry branches. Cattails are great for starting fires. So what are cattails? Hi, baby. Hi, my love. What are cat? Tails. That's something that I need to look up, right? I'm pro I probably seen those as well too. There's a lot of things that I have seen and I like know about, but I don't quite know the names of it. Reeds to grow near water. Okay. Or reeds that grow near water. Okay. Yes. Oh. I didn't realize you was here right now. You okay? Yeah, good morning. Oh, great rising. Good morning. I'm here. <laughs> so, yes. Um, you know, a lot of the times, too, like checking in your neighborhood. What Sometimes we have, like, weeds um, in our yard. 
that actually can provide um, good nutrients for the body or vitamins and minerals that we might need. Um, sometimes, you know, sometimes we even have like dandelions in our back in our yard and we just think that they're weeds but dandelion you know is good for the liver you can make a tea out of it you could also you know like as stated build your immune system um sometimes we have nuts right um nuts around so like nuts tree you know the, look at what type of trees it is that you have it around your neighborhood or in your yard or you know just to see what are your natural resources i love you all i have to go and i will be following up with y'all in a little bit i thank you all for tuning in please keep providing stuff in the um comment boards below so that way it's providing information for others as well Watch the birds and squirrel. They will lead you to eatable foods, nuts, plants, and trees. That is a fact. Um, that's one thing that they I had learned is like when you pay attention to the squirrels, they will tell you which like acorns, which acorns is good, which ones is not. As stated, like the nuts, the berries. Um, and some of the stuff that they eat is not really like tasting good. Some of it is, right? But if you're just trying to survive, you're not going to care how it tastes. You want to live, right? So, um, you can find fins or figs. I'm, I'm assuming you a lot in the forest. Because I, I, I'm assuming that you're saying figs because where I live, like, there's a whole bunch of vines with a whole bunch of figs. Yeah, so I love you all. I'm sorry that I just, like, was, like, I don't know where saying, okay, guys, I got to go, but I do have to go. So, I love you all. I thank you and we'll be in touch. I'm going to save this video so that way anybody can learn from it and just touch bases if you're good, what's going on. Um, keep us updated. I appreciate you all. Peace.